Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Nerd Nonsense. Uh, Manual, I'm back to talk about uh, some more magic news from San Diego Comic Con. Uh, most of you have probably heard some of this stuff already. I'm just going to cover it really quickly just to talk about it, just to give you uh, my opinions on everything. Um, so, in my last episode, we talked about the uh, the name of the new set. I had some some theories about what was going to happen in there. Um, uh, in this one, uh, we're going to talk about the article that Mark Rosewater put out on the Wizard site that you can go read. They tweeted it out, everything. Um, so, basically, uh, this article is all about um, booster packs and how how booster packs are going to are, are going to work from here on out for at least the standard legal sets, at least. Is what they said so far. Um, so there's there's gonna be a number of new changes. Um, so there's gonna be the standard booster pack will now be called uh, draft booster pack. That'll be the booster pack that you guys all, all already know about. It comes with um, you know the same amount of cards, the you know the one the one rare slash mythic, the token, the land, you know everything. Um, the only change they did to that was that uh, foils are slightly more uh, more likely to to happen. Like you're more likely to get a foil. I think it's only like a ten percent increase. Like instead of it being one in twelve packs, it's one in ten packs or something like that. Um, I can't really find exactly where it is in the thing. All right. Uh, but then there's also two new kinds of booster packs. Uh, one is a theme booster. So the theme boosters are going to be different uh, per set. So each set will have their own set of theme boosters based on whatever theme they want. Uh, this one they went really simple. Uh, the theme boosters are going to be based around each of the five colors. So you'll have uh, five theme boosters. Black, black, red, white, green, blue, you know. Um, and so in your theme booster, it, it'll be cards focused in primarily that color. I don't know if you get like artifacts and stuff in there or not, you know, maybe, probably, I, I assume so. Um, so that way your, your cards have some more like cohesion and synergies in them. Um, they have a, they have also one rare in them with a chance for having two. It's like one in every ten uh, theme boosters has two rares in it. Two rares and/or mythics, um, and so that's more for people who are trying to build decks from scratch who don't have anything. So they're trying to build a either like you know like an FMM FNM deck, you know whatever, something to just play a casual deck, you know whatever, um, or maybe you'll be more likely to get the rares that you're looking for in one of those. If you know exactly what color it is, maybe. I don't know. It doesn't seem like a good idea to buy buy these. I think they're more expensive. Um, so, and then there's our third booster pack um, called the Collector Booster. And so this is where I'm going to talk about some other things that, that, that they're changing to boosters as well. So there's going to be not exactly masterpieces, but kind of masterpieces so if you for those of you who don't know uh masterpieces were uh in a few of the sets um that have been releasing uh was a Re return to zendikar or zendikar had had them battle of zendikar uh had the expeditions those were the fetch lands the shot I, I think the shock lands or, or something um you got them and they had a special frame with special artwork and they were very, very rare. You had a like one in one hundred chance of opening one in a pack, and so those are like really, really sought after. People love those. And then we had them again in Kaladesh. Kaladesh had um, masterpieces. They were all different kinds of artifacts because Kaladesh was an artifact themed set. So we had artifacts from all throughout. Magic's history that weren't like they weren't standard legal, so they were just purely collectibles. 
um, so there was like Soul Ring. Like there was a painter servant in there that you know, you know, since the painter servant just got unbanned in Commander, um, there was uh, some of the I think some of the Gear Hulks too, because Gear Hulks were from that set that got um, the masterpiece treatment. Um, there were I think I said Soul Ring already. Um, just just uh, just a bunch. So so many so many cool artifacts. Some of the swords were in there. The swords of like War and Peace and Fire and Ice and whatever. Um, so those are coming back in this in starting in this one. We they're going to be kind of a masterpiece themed thing. It'll be Planeswalkers. So I know a lot of people were upset that we had a pseudo masterpiece kind of thing in the Ravnica sets, the new Ravnica sets. Um, but you could only get them if you bought the the big collector box. You couldn't get them in regular packs. You couldn't get them in like fat packs or anything. Um, you could only get them in the in the big mythic mythic boxes, and those were really hard to get a hold of because of you know you had to buy them through Hasbro at first, and then there's just a limited quantity anyway because then you had to buy them on eBay, and eBay didn't handle that right. It, the whole thing. Um, so now they're going to be in, in in boost packs. Regular booster packs as well as these uh, collector booster packs. So, just in like like in the like they used to be. So there's going to be like a really really rare chance to get them. They're going to have extended art. They're not going to necessarily have their own frame, but it's just going to be extended art, like kind of like the um, the iconic masters ones. I think those those were box toppers. So if you bought a box of iconic masters, you would get um, one box topper which was an extended frame card that was any of the cards in that set so so now those are kind of what we're getting as masterpieces it looks like except because you can just find those in the set of any of the any of the rarer cards i think and then any of the planeswalkers they're putting in here i saw um i, I can't remember what it was but yeah so the collector booster uh, it's funny, it's funny to actually talk about that. The cluster booster is going to be twenty to twenty-five dollars per booster, and so this is going to be the one where you're going to get more likely those those premium cards, as as uh, Mark calls them, Mr. Rosewater. So they'll have foils in them. They'll have one uh, showcase card. Showcase cards. I don't know if I said that. Showcase cards are going to be like a special framed uh, card from that set that will kind of display the theme of the set so this one is uh eldraine is uh a, a fairy tale uh grim's fairy tale kind of set so there's there's their story their their uh showcase cards are are storybook uh themed so the one that they showed was like a little girl reading a book and the the normal card frame kind of shows off that it's like a book thing and then the new one the the showcase frame like really really uh uh, you know, own, owns lean on that, that it's a the storybook, you know, it makes it look all uh, fantasy and stuff like that. Um, so you'll have more chances of getting those in them, the extended arts, foils, foil tokens, um, all kinds of goodies. That's why that it's like $20. So um, it, it, that that's going to be where you got you collectors go, you know, you guys who want the freaking... Um, all the all those cool those cool uh looking cards the special ones that don't that you don't normally see in in regular packs you know all you commander players are going to go there to get your your um your blinged out stuff i know i'm absolutely going to buy like a few of those even though they're like 20 dollars but you know maybe i crack something cool um sell it back and get some more who knows um yeah and so i'll like uh I, i'm pretty sure everybody's talking about this now but um it's just it's just so interesting to me that that that's how they're gonna go because um it's it's just so different from what I'm used to I'm pretty sure it's different from what everybody's used to um now that there's there's gonna be three boosters now you know uh the with with the themed ones there kind of already was the themed things you had like your guild kits for Ravnica, and I'm pretty sure that was like the precursor to this, um, because there was also, there was the, that's what the pre-release kits for were like, and I think there was, you could also just get a, like a booster that was kind of like that too, I can't remember what those were called, um, 
and so that's not too different since they already like kind of showed us what what that looks like um but these premium boosters they're almost they, they're almost like uh master's packs you know with their with their price they're, they're even more expensive than master's packs are but but just the um just the, the the value in them is is that high and 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 if we're going to be getting these with every standard set it's just going to be incredible there's just going to be so many more foils and 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 you know alternative arts and stuff out there for 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 people who like to collect that stuff it's it's just going to be incredible i love that stuff i love it so much um and then while we're here since I don't want to make another video, um, there was uh, another announcement uh, along with all this is that there are going to be uh, brawl decks, four brawl decks. I know as some of those some of the people who don't know, brawl is another format for Magic. It is a off standard format, so it uses the standard card pool. But it's also a commander variant. So commander is you know the format I play mostly is where it's singleton, which means you can only have one of any card besides basic lands, and um, you build a deck around a commander, which is a legendary creature. Um, for brawl, it's a legendary creature or a legendary planeswalker. All all planeswalkers are legendary, and so you build a deck with using only the colors that are in your commanders color identity so any colors that are on your commander you can use cards of that color um, so brawl uses a standard card pool it's 60 cards instead of 100 cards like commander is still singleton um, so they're, they're similar formats it's like a commander standard hybrid so we're gonna be getting pre-made brawl decks which is something we haven't had before we have had pre-made commander decks before in fact we're supposed to be getting a look at those sometime soon in the next few weeks. Um, so we're gonna have pre-constructed brawl decks, which uh, when I, when when the format first started, I thought they were gonna do that. I saw the challenger decks initially, and I thought that's what the challenger decks were. I thought they were gonna be brawl decks, but they're but they're not because they were really really trying to make brawl take off, and then it 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 kind of it kind of faltered. And people weren't really into it um, and so with the brawl decks they also announced um, that they're gonna be special cards for brawl in these decks so they're probably gonna work for commander as well if they're specifically designed for brawl because there's a lot of overlap between those two those two styles um, and including uh, to go along with that they're announcing that brawl is gonna be on magic arena which people have wanted because uh, it's just a more interesting format. It's got it's just a it's well it's not more interesting. It's just a different format, you know. To for for it has has a different playstyle, different kind of um, just just kind of different tempo to it. Uh, you know, where standard games are probably shorter, brawl games will probably be longer. Um, so I know people are excited about that. I don't necessarily play a lot on Arena because you know my computer can't handle it. Um, but I'm still pretty excited about that. I, I think Brawl is pretty cool. I, I'm not exactly the uh, the hugest fan of, of of rotating card pools, but you know it's it's still it's still interesting. It's it's still pretty cool. Um, uh, so that's pretty much it that I have for today. Um, uh, so um, I, I will be making more videos since there will be making more magic announcements later they're gonna start doing spoilers I know actually today they started doing the spoilers for the brawl decks some of the special brawl cards so I might make, make another video on that uh, maybe tomorrow or maybe later this week when they've spoiled all of the the special brawl cards and talk about their impact on commander um, so uh, let me know what you guys think about uh, these new packs, how they're gonna work. Do you think that we don't need the the premium packs with the with the with all the foils and goodies in them? You know, because that might bring the value down of, of your collectible cards. 
Uh, let me know about the return of, you know, masterpieces, quote-unquote. I know they're not exactly masterpieces, but they're kind of like masterpieces. Um, uh, let me know if I got anything wrong, you know, because I, I was just kind of... I, I read this whole article, and for, for the video, I was just kind of skimming it. Um, you know, let me know if I got anything wrong. Uh, correct me. I'll put out another video correcting myself. Um, let me know what you guys are hyped for. If you if you're actually gonna play Brawl when these new Brawl decks come out, if you're gonna play it on Magic Arena, uh, so like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell to keep up with um, my videos specifically because these ones will be a little these ones these ones will will I will put out as I hear stuff or as I read them. So I, they might not be like exactly as I read it, but it'll be as soon as I'm able to make a video about it after I after I hear something, I'll make a video about it. Um, um, shout outs, I don't know, shout out the same, same old people, um, Smani, thank you for, oh, uh, a shout out to Ted, too, too, from, from our Nerds Make Sense podcast, he, he's been hype as heck for me since our, our, my last, my last Nerd Nonsense video made over, got over a hundred views, uh, hopefully this one will follow, um, uh, and that's pretty much it. Uh, follow us on Facebook and Instagram. My Instagram is Nerds Make Sense Manual, no spaces. Uh, email us at nerdsmakesense at yahoo.com if you have any questions and you want to give us any topics for episodes. Um, uh, and that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys later. Bye bye. <laughs>